and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some turn two kills. That's right, we have a deck that is designed to be able to kill the opponent, deal 20 damage on turn two. That's pretty crazy. That's right, it, it is possible and it's actually possible in a lot of different ways. Every card in our deck, all 40 now with the, you know, now with the additional addition of Pesky Spectre, all 40 of these cards can help out um, for a turn two kill in some form or fashion. Um, and that's really what our, our deck's designed to do. So it's it's meme tier day. We have this crazy combo deck. Will it ever work? Maybe not. You know, we may not uh, ever get a turn two kill because in order to get a turn two kill, you have to have a lot of things go right. Um, first, you need to have the attack token on turn two, you know, right? So you have to have your opponent have the attack token on turn one, and then you have it on turn two. Second, you have to have an opponent that doesn't play anything at all on turn one or turn two. And that was a little bit more common whenever a lot of people were playing like ramp decks um, and things like that. Like these days, you know, with like Zoe and Aphelios and uh, Twisted Fate deck, everybody has like really cheap cards. So that's also going to make this a lot more difficult to pull off because, you know, if they just have like blockers, then that's going to, um, you know, ruin our game plan. Next, we're you're only going to have six cards by turn two. So you have four in your hand to start with. On turn one, you draw a fifth, and then on turn two, you draw a sixth. So we're going to need to have like the perfect six cards in order to do this. Now, what those perfect six cards are can really change. Um, there's a lot of different combinations. There's you know maybe 10, 15 um, different combinations of cards that get there. But first of all, the most important card is probably Sparring Student. Because if you play Sparring because that's what you're going to want to play on turn one. Because if you play Sparring Student on turn one, and then on turn two, as we said, you have six cards in hand. So just think if you just play the other five cards and there are five other units, that will be six, you know, that, that will give the, the sparring student plus five plus five and it'll make it a six, six. And so like that six damage, the six, six is going to be um, pretty, pretty important as far as um, getting all that damage in. So, you know, having one or even better, having like two sparring students can be really important. Now, you're also probably wondering, well, how do you, how do you play all those, you only have three, you only have three total mana by turn two, right? You have one on turn one and you get two more on turn two. So if you play the sparring student on turn one, you only got two mana. So how are you playing five units for those two mana? Well, a lot of that has to deal with Oblivious Islander. So Oblivious Islander, you can play, grant an ally in hand ephemeral and reduce its cost by one. So if you have multiple Oblivious Islanders, you know, you can play like one Islander, make the next one zero, which you play that, which makes the next one zero, which plays that and so on. So we want, you know, a sparring student. So like an easy way to have it is like two sparring students and then like three oblivious islanders. Um, now these things only attack for two though. So getting to 20 damage is kind of difficult. So if you have like sparring student on turn one, turn two, you play another sparring student and then you play three oblivious islanders. Then after that, you, you'll you still have one card left in hand and that last card, um, you know, if it's, if it's a one cost card, then th this Islander will make it cost zero. And so then if it's that one cost card, um, it could be some, It could be anything the three plus power to, to be lethal. So it could be a Bark Beast or a Shadow Fiend or a um, Stygian Onlooker, anything like that. Because then you'd have six plus five for your two Sparring students, which is 11. And then these three together would do six. So that's 17. So you just need your last card to be able to do three damage. So yeah, so like Onlooker, um, Bark Beast, because uh, <clears throat> the Bark Beast, because it'll deal extra damage because you have the Ephemerals. Uh, but besides that, there's also other ways. There's um, ways where you can um, have, you know, as, as far as like getting, you know, multiple Islanders and everything, Fading Memories is a big part of that, right? So like Fading Memories is going to be a really important card. That's that's how, you you know, you're probably thinking like, how, what's the odds you actually get all three Islanders? Well, maybe you get like one Islander and two Fading Memories, for example. Um, also, like if you, if that is the case, if you had one Islander, if you had like two Fading Memories, you know, you can have like Claws of the Dragon can come into play for free if you have multiple Fading Memories. So Fading Memories with Claws of the Dragon can be really important. Um, also, that last card, um, if, you know, you have that one extra mana, that, if that last card is like Keeper of Masks, that will buff up everything, and that can do a ton of damage. So um, the Oblivious Islander plus Keeper of Masks can do a lot of damage. So there's there's a lot of like little different combos in here. We're going to have Ravenous Butcher that if we pair like Ravenous Butcher with Pesky Spectre, that can get some extra damage with our Sparring Students, or of course Ravenous Butcher with Curse Keeper. You know, maybe we had a one mana curse keeper because of Islander. Um, so, you know, like we'll, we'll have to kind of see. 
But still, like I, like I said at the beginning, this is it's probably not going to work because all the opponent has to do is basically play anything to block to, to um, keep it from happening. But we're going to try to win the game on turn two. Turn two kills. All right, here we go. <laughs> yeah, the two the two drops will cost one if if we have Oblivious Islander. We can make them cost one. So with this hand, I think the only card I want to keep is the Islander because we need to find Sparring Student for the most part. I think I think definite Bark Beast gone. And um, yeah, like this, these, these are kind of replaceable. Let's keep the Islander. So I think that the three most important cards for us to kind of see are like Sparring Student, Islander, and then Fading Memories. Those are probably the three that I want to see the most. All right, so. Um, also, we're not going to be able to have... I guess I didn't even think about this here. We're not going to be able to have a turn 3 kill. Or, sorry, turn 2 kill. Because we don't have the attack token on turn 2. And so I led with Sparring Student, because that's just kind of... Uh, that's just kind of like what you'd normally do. But honestly, right here, maybe I should have gone Aristocrat Butcher. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty sparkle fly. But yep, they got a 1-drop, they got a blocker. It's going to make our life pretty difficult. Okay. Oh, hello there. The Islander is my best blocker for the goat right now. But our deck so like this is not a deck designed to like win games. <laughs> like I guess like like win like regular games like where you like play to like turn five turn six turn seven like that kind of stuff it can but that's not what it's designed to do right like it's it's sole purpose is designed on winning on um, turn two so the spacey sketcher messes that up a little bit. Okay, so that's <laughs> that's just unloading the hand. Ooh, you're interesting. Um, you know, we only got seven damage in. But we killed three things. But of course, with them by turn three, they you know they played four units by turn three. Five units by turn three. That's not going to be good for us because like that's that's the whole point of our deck is just to swarm them they can't handle it but they played five <laughs> five units by turn three It's kind of my worst draw, right? Because I wanted to play a unit, and then you know, play play something, then play onlooker. All right, we'll try the next one. Man, everybody's playing all these Aphelios decks in normal. I was I wasn't expecting all these today. All right, so we have the attack token on turn one again. So we're not gonna be able to have a turn two kill. So let's mulligan. Let's just keep the sparring student and mulligan the rest. Watching you. So uh, like a hapless aristocrat would be a good draw. That hapless aristocrat can uh, we can sacrifice it twice to put both these butchers into play. Okay, or a curse keeper. Ooh, 
and then a Keeper of Masks. Okay. We could do some damage here. Maybe just have Butcher sacrifice the other Butcher. Alright, so if I go Keeper of Masks, they block over here. They take 4, 8, 10, 12. Alright, so if I play Keeper of Masks, they take 12. If I play like Onlooker and then Butcher, they block over here. They take um, 4, 9, 12. They also take 12. They take 12 either way. So... We'll just go this way then, because it doesn't, you know, use both of these cards. And that's true, just Bird is also just 12. I wouldn't actually have to... If I, I could just play... Yeah, I could have just played Onlooker and made that 12 also when I had to play the Ravenous Butcher. I guess I could have done two more damage if I would have played Ravenous Butcher over the, the Keeper. I could have done 14. What? That is like not even the card to target. Kinku, hold fast. Another of the fangs. Hope they don't have another Equinox. If they do, you know, if they Equinox one of these, uh, so it's basic sketchers, they got another blocker. These decks are so dumb. <laughs> oh, they conceded! Wow. They weren't even dead. Oh well, we'll take the win. Ooh, all in Fiora. This is a deck that doesn't do anything turn one or turn two. Oh, come on. Yes, we have the attack token turn two. Oh, can we get there? Okay. Oh my gosh. Um, we're going to have to get some luck, though. This is... Okay, so I think we have to just keep the Islander. Uh, I think we have to just keep the Islander. We're, we need these sparring students. Alright. Come on, sparring student. Oh, no sparring student. Yes! Okay, they're a sparring student. We're not gonna... I don't think this can do 20, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, Ravenous Butcher now... Yeah, I love Ravenous Butcher. Fading Memories. Okay. So we're going to... Okay, if I Fading... So we can either Fading Sparring or Islander. Um, it's not going to be 20 damage. Either way. So, okay, if I go Sparring, it's going to be 1, 2... So we, we play this, this, this... And then the Shadow Fiend. So it'd be 4, 7, 8, 9, 13. If I go... This way, we're playing 4, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Alright, so the Sparring Student is more damage. Just like we practiced. Oh, hello there. So it's not 20. We have these multiple 2-drops in hand, but... Still a good, healthy attack on turn two. Oh, they had a Bright Seal Protector? Don't usually see that this deck play any two drops. Yeah, that's pretty rude.
All right, we still basically did half the life total on turn two with them having a blocker. By my honor, you must die. Strike quickly, strike death. Oh God. Well, good hand. They did have Fiora. You don't want to just like do that first. All right, another sparring student, or okay, keeper of masks. <clears throat> well, keeper of masks is like the only card to draw that that, real, that punishes me for not playing that hapless aristocrat first. I guess I just go double keeper. See the world through new eyes. Courage masks the heart from fear. Yeah, with with this draw, it definitely looks like I should have kept. Um, definitely looks like I should have kept the Ravenous Butcher with drawing these. But Sparring Student is just so important that I wanted to maximize my chances of drawing the Sparring Student with more mulligans. If they didn't have that turn two blocker, right? If they just don't have Bright Steel Protector, which is not a card you see very often in this deck, if they don't have that Bright Steel Protector, this game's over. But now it's over the other way. They had a great hand. They don't have the, the turn three, you know, either the turn two Bright Steel Protector or the turn three Fiora. They gave us any breathing room. All right, let's again just keep the Islander. So we're going to go Islander of the Shadow Fiends. We're going to go for a turn turn one, do some stuff. Alright, so we got nine damage on turn one. <clears throat> not bad, not a bad turn one. These opponents, it's like they they won't... I should have played the Sparring Student right here. Sorry, I just kind of clicked okay. Ready, willing, and learn. They won't let us, you know, kill them immediately. Neil students, rise warriors. Okay. 
Okay, maybe their turn two play is Curse Keeper. All right, good. They have the attack token. Maybe their turn two play is just Curse Keeper. Okay, we have Sparring Student. Hmm. Well, <laughs> nope, that's a... This isn't going to work for a lot of reasons. First among them, that that's a blocker. Okay. So I can go Pesky Spectre, Shadow Fiend, Stygian Onlooker. I mean, it's... I guess it's possible that I should just be waiting until turn... until turn four and try to, you know, get a cool turn four with Keeper of Masks. Maybe like the pesky maybe hold on to that pesky specter for turn four so they're gonna take nine go to 11 and then we'll have two draws yeah this, this is what I meant whenever this deck's not designed to win right it's not designed to like win like real games it's designed to do one specific thing of kill them on turn two if they don't have anything it doesn't doesn't happen very often. It's very difficult to do, to do. But it's designed for one and one thing only. Next time. Man, even they're playing removal that heals their nexus. Yeah, yeah. It's designed to have fun. It's designed to to basically you just kind of play like you know two minute games. Um, you know, usually you don't, you know, you don't even, like, need to play out the rest of the game. You just, you know, kind of go into it and see if, see if you can do it. See if you can do the combo. Because anytime, like, if you can ever pull it off, it is amazing if you can pull it off. But, you know, even from here, <laughs> it's just, the game's a lost cause already. Yep, it's just, it's like Belcher. If... <laughs> it's yeah it's basically like belcher if a like from from coming from magic if all you needed to do to stop belcher was just play a blocker <laughs> it's like that yeah goblin char belcher if all, all they had to do was just play a blocker So there we go. We did have one opponent concede, and so we got a win. That's something that uh, isn't isn't too easy of the deck, but um, yeah. As I was talking about with, with all those games, just kind of reiterate, you know, it's it's not a deck to that you play to rank with or anything like that. It's just something that you just have, you know, no stress. It's just like a, a thinking deck that you can, you know, just play two three minute games. You know, see if you can get a turn two kill, maybe a turn three kill. If you don't, oh well, you know, go to the next one, and so on. You know, like that's that's what it is. But it's it's a deck that that's just showing that it um, it is possible to have um, a turn two kill here in Legends of Rune Terra. So um, if you know if you you know talk with your friends or anything, if you try to think about like what's the fastest way you can kill, this is a deck that that does show the fastest ways you can get kills if you know if your opponent doesn't do anything and if you get the right hand all right but that's it so that's it here for turn two kills basically what what meme tier monday is all about 
Uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. Uh, let me know what you think of the deck. If, if you have ever pulled off a turn two kill yourself, if you try it out, if you pull it off, you have to have to definitely let us know. Let me know. Let us know the, uh, you know, leave a comment. Uh, let me know the exact card combination that you used. Definitely let us know there. Um, also, I'll have a, a comment uh, from the person that made this deck. I'll have a pinned comment of like uh, some different um, some different card combinations that you can have for the six cards to get to 20 damage. So, you know, check through that. If you find any other card combinations besides that, um, you know, leave a, leave a comment. If you, if you find any other uh, card, yeah, any other 20 damage on it, turn two with six cards, you know, three, you get six cards, three mana. How can you deal 20 damage? You got any other combinations besides the ones I'll have listed in the pinned comment? Um, let us know. All right, but that's it here for turn two kills. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.